Frankie, go outside and tell Luca to do you know what. Do you know who I am, Mr. Worley? I give up. Who are you? I am the Antichrist. And you have me in a vendetta kind of mood. You tell the angels up in heaven you've never seen evil so singularly personified as in the face of the man who killed you. My name is Victor Cocotti, and I work for counsel for Mr. Blue the boy, the man your son stole from. I heard you were once a cop, so I assume you've heard of us before. Am I right? I've heard of Blue the boy. I'm glad. That's to take care of the how full of shy I am question you've been asking yourself. We're going to have a little Q&A, and at the risk of sounding redundant, please make your answers genuine. You want a Chesterfield? No. I have a son. About your boy's age. So I can imagine how painful this must be for you. But Clarence and that bitch whore girlfriend of his brought this all upon themselves. I implore you not to go down the same road as them. Take comfort in knowing you've never had a choice. Look, I'd like to help you if I could, but I haven't seen Clarence. You see that? <laughs> oh! Oh! That smuts, doesn't it? Getting slammed in the nose like that? That ain't any kind of fun. It gets the pain shooting through your brain, your eyes water up. That ain't any kind of fun. But with what I have to offer, that's as good as it's gonna get. And it won't get that good again. We've talked to your neighbors. They've seen a Cadillac. Purple Cadillac. Clarence's purple Cadillac parked in front of a trailer yesterday. Mr. Worley, have you seen your son? I seen him. Can't be sure of how much of what he's told you, so just in the case you're in the, in the dark for some of this, let me shed some light. The whore your boy hangs around with pimp is an associate of mine, and I don't mean just pimping. He works for me in a courier capacity. Apparently, that dirty little whore found out we were going to do some business. Because your son, cowboy, and all his flame decided to show up blazing and didn't stop until they thought everybody was pretty much dead. What are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about a massacre. They snatched up my narcotics and hightailed it out of there. Would've got away with it too. But your boy, screw up that he is, left his driver's license in the card of a dead guy. You know, I don't believe you. That is of minor importance. What is of major importance is that I believe you. Where did they go? On their honeymoon. I'm getting tired of asking the same question a second time. Where did they go? They didn't tell me. Now you wait just a minute and listen to me. I haven't seen Clarence in three years. He shows up yesterday with a young girl, saying that he got married. He asked for a, some quick cash to go on a honeymoon. He asked if he could borrow $500. I felt like helping him out, so I wrote him out a check. We went to breakfast the next morning, and that's the last I saw of him. So help me God, they never thought to tell me where they were going, and I never thought to ask. Questo non è buono. You know, Sicilians are great liars. <laughs> I'm Sicilian. My father was a world heavyweight champion of Sicilian liars. Growing up with them, I learned the pantomime. A guy's got 17 ways he could give himself away. A woman's got 20, but a guy's got 17. And if you learn him like you know your own face, they beat lie detectors all to hell. What we have going on here is a game of show and tell. You don't want to show me nothing, but you're telling me everything. I know you know where they went. So tell me before I cause some damage you won't walk away from. 